Goodbye Google Scholar that is used to find studies and references for literature review. Uh, it is still old and it is still limited and it is not developed uh, that much. It can also provide you with insights and analytics that can help you see the uh, trends and find research gaps quickly. So here I was searching for this term that is academic burnout. And here you could see, for example, the publication count over the years. And you see here this trend is increasing uh, over time and here it just breaks down this by field here medicine and the number of uh, mentions of the the keyword again burnout here in this field in psychology in medical education and clinical psychology here just to find the fields with which these keywords are related or whether social sciences or other experimental sciences so here we have also research questions like does burnout affect academic achievements? Here it can help you also find uh, tailored research questions that are being investigated by researchers. So this is really good to uh, find the importance of the topic you are investigating. Here the mediating effect of academic engagement between etc. Cross-sectional survey of workplace stressors etc. And here these are the experts in the field. So here these are just sorted by the uh, first name, last name, along with initials or middle names. So you could just uh, see more results here. Again, you could just delve deeper into this. Here you could see synapse trends, uh, collections, favorites, history, keyword alerts in case no uh, search items appear. So this can help you even to keep up with the, the field that you are investigating. Whenever a new paper is published, you will just get a notification based on the keyword that you are using or even the K phrase or the K research question and along with the setting here. So here it's this one. It's a free plan. You can use it for free, but uh, you could also um, have some uh, paid versions for now. So just for now, we can just use the free version. Here we have some uh, items or some features that are limited. For example, a research field here, for example, I can add applied uh, linguistics, for instance. And I could just add it. You see here the number of people with the, the same interest. And you see here, you can just break down by the year, by the country, by the affiliation, etc. So it says that it's not yet available. This means that they are working on it. So here you see the publication count on that field. Here you see the journal uh, with the top original papers, culturally sustained approaches to academic languaging through system, etc. Here you see these are the top journals, especially published in uh, Web of Science and Scopus. I think it uses data from Web of Science and uh, Scopus to index this and to provide the, uh, these metrics and even the names of the researchers and their affiliation and their age index if you want. You see here Hong Kong, uh, etc. So these are really some very good, let's say, metrics that you can use to just keep ahead with the field that you are interested in. So here you could also search by uh, filtering. So here you could filter based on the uh, keywords like academic, uh, let's say burnout then the publication year like if you are interested in the last three years for instance you see here you could also see the impact factor educational psychology review the journal the authors the first author the second author their affiliation and the date of publication along with just extraction of the exact search that you are willing to find here burnout and it keeps highlighting the terms that you are investigating for quick uh, scheming and here the mediating effect of academic engagement between psychological capital and academic burnout among nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic here this is the impact factor this means that this paper has received a lot of citations and this is why the impact factor so the higher the impact factor is the like the more citations the paper or the journal uh, receives these citations or impact as we say in the academic field so here you could just find the citation you could just click cite 
and you could find different citation formats like Harvard, MLA, IEEE, etc. You can also customize it. You can download it uh, like Bibtex or R. IS in case you want to use uh, Mendeley or Zotero or EndNote with regard to these uh, studies or references. Here you could save it to your, uh, let's say, so here you can see the journal, uh, whether it's open access or not, etc. So this is really a good uh, way to organize data and uh, you can search the literature. Uh, there are some features that are pro, unfortunately, but uh, it can be good for basic research for literature review. So here, if I have a reader list, I can export it, I can share it. You can see its citation count. I can just sort it by oldest, newest, in addition to the citation count. I can export all in CSV or Excel format, which is good. So this is the home. So analytic research uh, insights over the last three years, 10 years, etc. So we can just find, for example, AI, not free in some parts, but still with regard to some basics uh, research, it is helpful. So this is in brief how you can use Synapse platform for uh, literature review and literature search. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you soon. Bye for now.